Hey, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to another video. I am at Brush Creek today. It's a place that I grew up going fishing at, but I haven't been here in probably 18, 20 years. So uh, it's probably changed quite a bit, but I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of compositions I can come up with. I think today's goal is I'm going to be trying out a few different cameras. Um, just trying to do a little bit of compare and contrasting and just getting back out, getting my, my skill set back up. I think I want to try and do a little bit more with some unique perspectives. Maybe not everything just at eye level, but trying to get down on the ground a little bit or maybe a little higher at an angle, things like that. Something that's just a little bit outside of what what you would normally see, kind of get out of my comfort zone a little bit and try and give give a little bit more creativity to some of my shots. So Cole's here with me and with that let's get going. So just to give you a little bit of perspective when I was younger like 15 years old 16 whatever uh, I used to park in this section here how the road wraps around and there was a trail and you it still exists, but it's definitely grown up a bit. And it goes straight through there, and you can get down to a bridge. And I might get down there today. I might not. Uh, I think I really want to stick to this main road over here. And I've actually never been upstream. So the trail that I just showed was going downstream. I think I want to travel upstream as much as I can and kind of work my way back today. So we'll see what happens. But... It's a rainy day, but uh, not bad, not bad. I know some of the cloud is, is definitely there, and uh, it's been like that for the past, oh man, week and a half at this point. And I also got sick, so that was a thing, which I'll probably get into in a little bit here. But for now, I'm just going to make my way down here, keep an eye out for any compositions. Ooh. I think I just saw, I think I just found one. Um, maybe, maybe I can do something with this. Kind of get a low perspective on it and see what I can come up with. So, but again, I'm starting to see a lot of this, this green that I like. I like that highlighted green color. It looks a little brighter than the rest of this just gray stuff that blends in. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see. I might work my way up and then come back to it. So, we'll find out. So going upstream was a little bit of a bust. Um, the road that I was following, it kind of goes across a little bridge and then it just turns into a dump. Uh, it's disgusting. People dump all their garbage. There's a bunch of garbage bags, tires, old refrigerators, uh, just s stuff I don't even know what it was, but it smelled terrible. I mean, which is, makes me sick. I mean. I'm not getting all high and mighty or anything, but that's disappointing to see. You know, you can't leave things nice. It just turns into a, a dump. So, whatever. Um, so I'm turning around. I, I couldn't get as close to the water as I wanted to upstream because I'm running into a lot of this, if you can see. It's just so thick. All these little briar things that stick to your clothes. Um, and it is just super thick to get through. It'd be a bear to kind of walk through and take all my gear into, which I'm willing to do. I just don't think that today's the day for that. And I think there's better shots maybe that I can get downstream. But yeah, I'm a little disappointed with how, how much it's changed here. Um, I, guess, I don't know. Humans are dirty. Whatever. Just try and be better maybe. That's my public service announcement for the day. Hey, so 
I think I did find a nice composition that I want to try. Uh, I want to try and get down low to it. It's a little bit of a, not really waterfall, but it's it's got some ripples and it's kind of going through the, the landscape a little bit. Actually, why don't I just show you? That would make more sense, huh? So right here is where I want to be. I want to try and uh, get a couple shots here, kind of be a little bit creative with it, get down low. But uh, I have my can in here that I'm going to run. Uh, right now I have the uh, 18 to 55 on it. But I also want to talk a second about this other camera that I have. Give me one sec. Here we go. So this is a Sony Next 5T, or Nex, N-E-X, 5T. And my wife and I, when we got engaged, uh, I should know this, years ago, when we got engaged years ago, uh, we bought this together as a kind of, hey, you know what? She likes scrapbooking and we're making memories you know, buying a house and re renovating and things like that, we'll just document with this camera. And uh, we used it, we did, but then it kind of went in a shelf after a year or two, and it's been hiding ever since. So I found it, I charged it up, and I wanna check it out. So I'm learning a lot more about photography, and I think there's some, some potential to this, this little camera. So this is the only lens that I have for it, and I believe it is a, uh, somebody can help me out, 16 to 50, I believe. Um, I'll kind of see if I can, there we go. Hopefully you can see that and might make more sense than me, just rambling about it. But I'm gonna get set up, I'm gonna try and get a little creative. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, I had the Canon and I had the Sony and I'll be honest, I really like that Sony. It has a lens or the viewfinder, excuse me, that flips out so I could see what I was doing as I was looking straight down on it. And that just, that was pretty cool. I, I like that a lot more than I thought I was going to. And it was a lot easier to use as well. Uh, the smaller body on it, I was able to really adjust my settings in manual mode a lot easier. Um, it has a, a D-pad, uh, the up, down, left, and right, which I have menus that I can get into. But also around it, I can swivel or I can slide it in a circular motion. And I can adjust my settings that way too. And then there is a front top above the shutter slider as well. And that was just fantastic. I barely had to move my fingers around. It just worked perfectly. I like that a lot. I definitely enjoyed that. Um, also, I was doing a little reading on the specs and not that megapixels are everything, but that one is 16 megapixels versus my old Canon, which is 12, I believe. So we'll see what it looks like on the big screen. And you can let me know what you think down in the comments.
So I found this shot that I wanted to try and get. Um, uh, there's a rock just out of frame right around here that I'm gonna go to and I'm gonna get real low and I'm gonna try and shoot up the stream like that. I think it'll work. Uh, we'll test it out. Hope I don't go swimming. Not too bad. I really like that. Nice little viewfinder here. I also have a base for my tripod, but I can just flip that right up. As I'm shooting downward, I can see right here. I can get that right against the water's edge and look down on it, and it's just fantastic. Started spitting some rain a little bit, so I'm trying not to get things too wet, but uh, we're gonna try the cannon next. We'll see how that goes. Try and get down low with it. And this doesn't flip out. This viewfinder doesn't flip out. So it'll be a little more tricky. Kind of just kind of have to trust my judgment and see what I can come up with. So much harder to do with the cannon. Not only is it just that bigger body, big beefy body with the lens on it, but uh, even just constantly having to crouch down, get to where I need to be, hold it where I want it, and then alter my settings. You know, it's, uh, it's a little bit more challenging having to hold this and then roll my finger onto this uh, roller scroller, I guess, roller scroller, and trying to adjust settings. You know, if I want a little bit of a longer exposure time, um, you know, my shutter speed, if I want to increase that to 1.3 to kind of get those uh, artistic effects like I had in my last video, which I would appreciate if you watched too. That'd be pretty neat. Um, but it's a lot harder to do at those angles with this. It's a lot harder to do when your viewfinder doesn't move and you've got a whole chunky body to work with. I mean, chunky body to work with too. That doesn't help. But yeah, there's definitely some pros and cons and it's, it's so much fun to, to play with the two and find out some of the differences. So if you've been following my channel for a little bit, first of all, thank you. Thank you so much. I've received some amazing feedback from everyone that's commented or reached out behind the scenes to give me some advice, fill me in. I've made some really cool connections and uh, I'm always looking to, to grow that way. But I did say that I was going to be posting more content, really putting my heart and soul into this a bit more. And I really, really meant to. Unfortunately, I got sick. <laughs> you know, I have two young kiddos, so the one came home sick from school and passed it on to their sibling, and then my wife got it, and then I got it. So all the meanwhile, I'm laying on my bathroom floor on the nice, cool tile doing battle with the Grim Reaper, and uh, all I could think about was there's probably some epic lighting out there right now and how I need to keep my skills sharp and how I can't wait to feel better and just get back out here taking photos, just getting outside, enjoying everything that I can. But I did just want to say thank you for following on, along on the channel and that I do intend on putting out regular content and making it hopefully enjoyable for you, you know, something that you can have a cup of coffee and sit down with and just kind of listen to my ramblings or if you're a photographer yourself you know providing some insight would be incredibly appreciated um, I would also appreciate it if you leave a like and a sub you know subscriptions are free even though the name is kind of weird uh, it just helps you find out when I put out a new video and like I said I plan on releasing more videos on a more consistent basis but I'm gonna head downstream a little bit further, see what I can come up with. Um, I'm getting a little cold, getting a little wet, so it's starting to rain a little harder. So we'll see what I come up with. Well, we made it back to the car, Cole and I. Um, 
we're both pretty tuckered out. I mentioned that I was, <laughs> I mentioned that I was sick earlier, and I'm really starting to feel it again. Um, hopefully, I didn't do too much, but I just feel kind of run down, a little beat. But it was a good experience. It was good to get out and at least try that little technique of getting a new perspective, trying to get down low. And I'll throw up some pictures of what I had taken, but I noticed that when I was taking these, I started to almost feel like they were macro shots because I kept getting down close and I was always focusing on the foreground. So um, I just don't know how they turned out, but we'll see. We'll, we'll check them out in post and uh, see what I can come up with. And it also gives me a chance to test out my, my editing skills, which... I've been learning and I think you're getting a little bit better um, playing around more with different sliders, getting a little bit more comfortable with Lightroom and I haven't jumped into Photoshop yet, but I think it's on the list as well at some point. But that's the beauty of this, you know, I have time to just enjoy it and so if you have any feedback on my photos, I am always up for some constructive criticism or some comments. Uh, I want to improve as best I can. I want to get to the point where I can maybe teach others a little bit about what I've learned and just be an asset to the photography community. But again, thank you for everyone that has supported me on this journey, and we will catch up with you in the next one. Take care, everybody. You guys thought it wasn't going to show up. Always gotta have my granola bar. Right, bud?